New numbers that the city of Oakland is not proud of tonight. How it is working to stop the rise in crime. Right now on KPIX 5 streaming, CBSN Bay Area, a spike in violent crime in Oakland. Good evening. I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. KPIX 5's Juliet Goodrich joins us now live with how Oakland is trying to reverse this trend. Jules? Well, that's right. With violent crime creeping back up again in Oakland with the 2019 numbers out and released today, Oakland police saying they've got to do something new. So they hired someone, a new anti-violence chief, to help turn things around. Oakland's homicides, aggravated assaults, rapes, and robberies up 7% in 2019, a trend the city wants to end. But we must do more. That's where Guillermo Cespedes comes in. This is Oakland, and, uh, and we have a lot of work to do. He's been hired as Oakland's chief of violence prevention, and he's credited with reducing L.A.'s gang-related homicides within two years. He admits he has quite a list to tackle. To reduce gun violence, to reduce intimate partner violence, to reduce sex trafficking, um, to reduce the number of cases that remain, cold cases that remain open. So where to begin first? The new anti-violence czar says cutting violence starts through a public health approach with community policing and community service. It's not a perfect science, but he says it's been a successful formula in other troubled cities. It starts by identifying risk factors. The risk factors that lead people to commit violence. And those risk factors could be economic, they could be psychological, they could be familial, they could be um, pressure in the community. There are, there are a lot of risk factors that push us to act in a particular way. We now know ways of identifying those risk factors and addressing them. And that's where our hope and our future lies, is to disrupt the upstream factors. And the city of Oakland has a pretty ambitious plan, Veronica. They say they hope to reduce homicides by 80% in the next three years. Wow, 80%. So, Jules, it all sounds great on paper, right? But, but where is the city going to come up with the money to fund something like this? Yeah, we're talking about a $10 million budget annually. Actually turns out that it's a tax-funded measure that the voters voted on back in 2014. If you recall, it was Measure Z. Mm. All right. Julie Goodrich, live for us in Oakland. Jules, we appreciate it. Thank you.